Beep, 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 Wow, this stud finder seems to be working, but let's open it up and see if it actually meets factory standards. So first you can see here, you get a nine volt battery. Here's the actual device itself. You also get an owner's manual. Okay, so here's the actual stud finder itself. You can just pull it out. It looks like it's got one button right there and that's gonna be used to calibrate it. One here to turn it on, turn it off. And other than that, we just gotta put in this nine volt. There you go. Let's turn it on real quick and just see what it does. Obviously starts up at the half inch. Click it once to go to an inch. Another one to go to inch and a half. Another one to switch to metal. And another one to switch to AC. And if you wanna turn it off, you just hold it for a few seconds. This is actually seven inches long by about three inches wide right here to about one and three eighths inch tall right there. And the first three modes will be checking for the wood studs. Those reach in at a half inch, an inch, and an inch and a half. Then from there, it starts looking for metal joists, beams, rebar, pipes, things like that, even non-magnetic metals. And that goes up to about two and three, or 2.36 inches, sorry. And then lastly, you can switch it into this AC mode when it starts looking for wiring, even like coaxials and stuff like that. And that will look at a depth of up to two inches. I wanna hang something up here because as you can see behind me, the previous owners kinda of left it in an ugly mess. All we're gonna need is this to find the stud that we're gonna hang it up into, and we're going to have a pencil to mark where it's at. So this is what we do. We turn it on by pressing the mode button. We set it up against the wood and hold it very still so it can calibrate by pressing this button here. You'll see this bars go down. You'll hear that beep right there. That means that it's calibrated. Now as we move it left or right, it's gonna show us an edge and then the center of a stud. Now actually, this is already passed over a stud, but it's not finding it. Why is that? What's the problem here? And why is it telling me that there's an AC wire as well all through this entire time? It's not going away. See there, it kind of goes away a second. Well, I can tell you why, and that's because it's in the half inch mode right here. So what we're gonna do, because I think this uh, drywall or whatever type of wall this is is a little bit thicker than that we're going to move it to the inch mode so mode number two there inch mode okay so let's try that now put it up against the wall bar is going down we'll hear the sound there we go now you can see that light went off and it's showing me I found an edge of a stud oh we kind of went past it there there we go that means it's the center right there there's the center of a stud you can hear how loud that gets, so we'll mark that down right there. Now, if you get to the second scanning mode and you're still getting irregular readings, there's no problem with going on to the third scan mode. That will probably give you a more accurate leading, but a more accurate reading. But since we've found our studs, now what we're going to do is make sure that they're not metal studs. And we're gonna do that by turning it on and going to the fourth setting, which says metal. So then we're going to calibrate it in air this time by hitting the button. You'll see the exact same bars go down and you'll hear that sound and then we'll place it up against where we think the middle of the stud is at. That one might be a metal stud. Okay, let's do that again on this one over here too. Okay, calibrate it again. That one's not registering. So over here, we have a wood stud. Over here, we have a metal stud. And I didn't even know that, so good thing I got this stud finder right here because I could have gotten a wood stud finder and found that as being a stud and then tried to drill into it and gotten seriously injured or damaged my tools. So I've actually never used a stud finder like this that looks for metal and wiring and stuff like that and I found it really easy to use, especially after when I was first tampering with it, just on that first setting at a half inch and I was getting a whole bunch of irregular readings. I was thinking to myself like, oh no, I got a really bad product. But then finally, as you can see, you know, I figured out that you just gotta go deeper and once you go deeper, you can get through all the way through the drywall or whatever surface you're using and then it will give you a more accurate reading. So really easy to use. I would say it's good for anyone, even if you're in like carpentry or something like that. If you're working, you know, like I just found out this was a metal stud, stopped me from drilling into it. Uh, also really good for DIYers like myself. Obviously I'm using it and I already appreciate it. Now I've seen that people are asking what kind of material this can actually work on. So let's just run through a list of them real quick and I'll tell you yes or no. Drywall, yes. Wallpaper, yes. Floorings, yes. Extremely textured walls and things like that, yes, but they recommend putting a piece of cardboard over top of it first when you're using the system. 
plasters. Some of them will work, some of them won't. Like if they have metal nail heads in them or a metal mesh reinforcement, this is gonna have a tough time finding your studs. Concrete and carpet, mm, sorry, nope and nope. Bathroom tile wall, yes. Paneling, yes. So it works on a lot of different surfaces.